How's it going? What I got here is a Nikon Nikkor AFS VR 70 to 200 lens, which is a very fast one. It's 2.8 G all the way through the range of 70 millimeters on up to 200. And I've been curious as to trying one of these out, and a friend loaned me one, so I'm going to make a video quick of using this in video and in some pictures and I'm going to compare it to a basic uh, kit lens that's a Nikon DX 18 by 55 that probably won't be much of a comparison but by the time I'm done you're done watching this you should hopefully get a kind of an alright idea on just what these lens consist of this is a very heavy lens it's like 52 ounces it's over four pounds it has autofocus and everything and I'll be using a D Nikon D5100 I'll have it hooked to and we'll go out there and do some test shots at night and during the day and just see how these things perform and so I can get an idea on them and you're talking a, probably the $1,200 to a $2,000 lens here but we'll go ahead and get started and see what these things are made of I'm going to use this farm that's about a half a mile away as a good test and then this tree that's right in front of me, this little apple tree. I'm basically on auto settings on my Nikon D5100 and I'm at 70 millimeters with that Nikkor at 2.870 but by 200 and everything's on auto as far as focus and everything else. I'm going to zoom in up to 200 millimeters. Focus on it's actually quite fast. I've been very impressed with it on this lens. It's to me, it's just huge. That's 200 millimeters, 135, 105, 80, and then 70. Now let's uh, bring this in on this tree up here. I'm only about seven feet away from that tree, but it's pretty nice. Well, we'll switch over to kit lens. All right, this is the 18 by 55 kit lens as a comparison. I'm going to zoom up to 55 millimeters. And if you notice, it hunts a little bit more for the uh, focus. And it's fairly low light out. I mean, it's got an early morning and overcast day. But just as far as the zoom and stuff. And we'll try out some bulky here when I'll move it over to a tree. But uh, as far as you know, daylight and videos, this is what you're looking at. I'll, I'll do some comparison for pictures. I'm going to use this dark area, this tree, as a test for the pictures. This is the kit lens. And I'm on full auto. Right now it's saying auto ISO 3200 one thirtieth of a second. Alright, as far as video mode at night, this is that 70 to 200 Nikkor, and I'm at 200 millimeters, which is actually 300 millimeters on a DX frame. You're looking at a farm that's roughly, I'd say, a little over a half a mile away. I'm going to put it down to 70 millimeters, and this is, of course, at f2.8. I got it wide open, and I'm running auto on my video and I'll do the same with that uh, kit lens next 
All right, this is that 18 to 55 kit lens. This is that farm. I'm at 18 millimeters. I got the aperture wide open. This is zoomed all the way in on that farm. Now this is a car in my driveway. There's not much light, of course. We'll use that as a comparison, same thing. Everything's pretty much in auto mode on this Nikon. Kind of hard to see it. Zoom all the way out. Now you're looking at the moon at 200 millimeters. So what you'd expect to see. And I... I'll bring it down to 70. Which really kind of senseless. This is all the way in. The 55 millimeters. Let's take some picture. Right there's some bucker up. Well, all in all, uh, it lives up to its price tag, but it's not really for me. This is more for a professional photographer, not so much for just video taking and stuff like that. I actually walked out in the woods with this, take some pictures and videos, and uh, it's quite cumbersome and extremely heavy. It's not anything you're going to walk around with, but... Uh, it does do an incredible job and I'd say the biggest thing I noticed on it is the autofocus is just phenomenal on this thing. Very fast and uh, very accurate and it takes some incredible pictures and videos but unless a person is going to make some, some decent money on photography and that, I, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend getting it unless you got a lot of money to throw around. There's a lot cheaper lenses out there that aren't quite as good, but are a little more portable and probably do what that does. But you know, that's that's the video, and hopefully that helps somebody. I mean, it really helped me by getting this, being able to use this, and see what it was made of. But I am impressed with it. I'll tell you that.